Have you seen the new safety shoes out there lately? This is probably one of the most promising things I've seen in women's workwear in a while. There are lots of new brands and models out there that are deciding to jump into the safety shoe market. Hi, I'm Rachel Walla with Ally Safety, and in today's video, we're gonna look at the new world of women's safety shoes. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So in my work, I see all kinds of work sites. And what I'm noticing more and more is that more people are wearing safety shoes as much, if not more than work boots. The fun thing is that there's a lot of cool ones on the market now that you may actually enjoy wearing. For the purposes of this video, I'm gonna focus on safety shoes rather than boots. If you'd like to see a video on boots, check out this one up here. To be considered for this video, the shoes had to have a safety toe, a fun style, great reviews, and be built specifically for women. I'm not gonna go too deeply on the topic of men's versus women's shoes and how the shape and the geometry is generally different because I covered that a lot in the previous video, but let's just suffice to say, if we are women who need to wear safety shoes to work, we tend to work on our feet a lot. And so getting a shoe that's not built correctly for a woman's foot can not only leave you with foot pain, but ankle, knee, hip, and lower back pain. And so it's just not something I would suggest. So every shoe in this video is specifically built for women. I mean, at this point, we've been in the industrial world since the days of Rosie the Riveter. So it's time that we get some shoes that fit. For this video, I also weighed each shoe. What you find in safety shoes is they can vary by as much as a pound per model. So I wanted to keep that information all together because when you're wearing a shoe all day for a long shift, that weight adds up. So when you're making your choice, it's important to note. And for some reason, a lot of manufacturers don't have it listed. Just a disclaimer, all the shoes in this video were purchased by me specifically for making this video. So if you enjoy women's workwear videos and would like to see more of them, please hit that like button. All right, so first up, we have the best I didn't know that was a safety shoe shoe. The first time a colleague of mine came into the office wearing a pair of tennis shoe safety shoes, she kept talking about how light and comfortable they were, and I remember looking down at them and wondering, why is the toe so big? The thing is, if you're wearing composite toe safety shoes, a lot of times the toe will be very big because the composite toe has to be kind of bulky to meet ASTM standards. The cool thing about these Pumas is that the toe is really small because it's a steel toe, and you would never know it's actually a safety shoe if you were just wearing it around on the streets. I was surprised when I saw these Pumas because this is one of the first fun sneakers that I would not know was a safety shoe. Also, they have great colors to choose from, making them feel less like the old drab safety shoes and more like something you would actually want to wear. Next category is the most unique safety shoe. Okay, who would see these and think that this is a safety toe? I included these ones just because they're so unique and so fun and so different. My initial thoughts when I saw these was I was wondering what type of workplace they would really fit in, like maybe an office, but I think that was a bit short-sighted because they have a surprising list of safety features and I don't see why they wouldn't be just as usable as any other shoe on the list. Also, these were the most comfortable that I tried on for this video. Just one thing to note though, these are CSA approved which means they meet Canadian Standards Association regulations, which for some employers may be an issue if they want you to go with ASTM safety shoes. I don't think a women's safety shoe video in 2020 is really complete without mentioning Xena workwear because they're the newest, coolest thing in the women's safety shoe market right now. They've come out with some great products and I like this one that's a cross between a shoe and a boot that's basically made to go from the office to the production line. Please excuse the scuff marks on these because they become my new day-to-day -day shoe and I wear them a lot. Xena Workwear also has some more boot-like models that you may have seen in some of my other videos and a knee-high boot model coming out this fall. The really cool thing about this company is that it's owned by a woman who noticed the lack in great safety footwear and gets the struggle. One thing to note with Xena's is you do wanna go up about a half a size larger than you normally would as they tend to run small. Keens are great because they offer the protection of a boot while being more like a hiking shoe. I also think they're one of the most versatile because they can go from construction jobs to hiking and even into the office and be comfortable all throughout. These ones are waterproof as well. 
One thing to note, in my experience, Keens tend to run about half a size too big. Keen also has the cool feature of the asymmetrical toe cap, which is a unique item that gives them more of a comfortable toe box because it's fit separately for the left and right foot. So I don't look at these and think construction shoe, but I do look at these and think I wanna wear those. These are from Caterpillar and they are one of the most fun styles I've seen. I don't typically go for pink and safety shoes, but I think they did a pretty good job on these. They also have a blue model as well. Naturally, being from Caterpillar, they also have all the safety features you need in a shoe and a small enough toe box that you're not going to know it's a safety shoe. Lastly, they are the least expensive shoe on the list, coming in at around $65. The next one is another model that can go easily from the office to the field and also has the added benefit of being a bit more lightweight than the others due to having an alloy toe. This one is almost like a clog. It has a lot of versatility and won't look clunky with your skinny jeans. Last but not least, we have the Reebok Work Sublight. These are great because they look just about like any other tennis shoe on the market. They aren't loud and flashy, but they are really comfortable. You will notice that they have a slightly bigger toe than some of the others, but that's because the toe is composite rather than steel, meaning it's lighter weight. There's always a trade-off, and these ones do deliver on the weight because the toe isn't noticeably bigger, and yet the shoe is the lightest on this list. So that's my list of the best safety shoes for women. What ones did you like and what ones did I miss? Let me know in the comments below. Hopefully this video helps you if you have that company stipend and are looking for a new pair of safety shoes this year. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please hit that subscribe button. It helps me to create more content for you. Again, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.